Good morning once again, everyone. I welcome you all as we celebrate God's presence through the sacrament of communion on this special Sunday. I invite you to gather and lay out the elements of food and drink that you have chosen to celebrate communion with today. In this time and place, this sacred space, the elements that we find in our individual households will become the gifts of God for the people of God. I invite you to imagine that we are all seated around a common table. The table that Jesus the Christ invites us to gather around in spirit this day. As we say together these words of invitation. Faith glows like coals within our hearts. At this table, Jesus blows upon those coals. Together, gathered as one. We are God's blaze of joy. We come, we yearn, we hunger, we thirst. Join together at this table, Christ's table, for the invitation is for all who burn with spirit's fire, for all who wish to taste and see that God is good. Wondering, wishing for wholeness, welcomed. We accept the invitation and join the fire. Let us continue with a recitation of our new creed, the new creed of the United Church of Canada. If you know the words, please feel free to speak at the same time, say it along with me. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and to make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Let us join together now in the great thanksgiving. God be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to God. We are a village of faith, surrounded by witnesses now and then. We remember. What do we remember? The covenant lived out millennia upon millennia, God's call for us to be a people of faith made for self-giving. What do we remember of this covenant? We remember Adam and Eve, Abraham and Sarah, Moses and Miriam, Ruth and Naomi, David and Jonathan, as well as prophets of times present and times past. We also remember Jesus, who came into this world as an ordinary baby, but who 
became for us a person who turned over traditional tables and ways of thinking, while at the same time creating new ones that were meant to bring all kinds of people together in new and loving ways. In his name and in the name of all that he lived out during his life, we sing. Holy, 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 God of life and of love, heaven and earth are alight with your presence. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who calls us to be one, now and forever. Amen. We'll continue now with our prayer for communion. This one is entitled, Turning Over the Tables. And it was written by Don Uranu of Emmanuel United Church in Peterborough, Ontario. And we thank Don for these beautiful, holy words. It is time to turn over the tables, the tables that exploit, the tables that deceive. But this table, the one we are gathered around, is not for turning over. This table is for turning around, turning around loneliness and isolation. When this table is turned around, it offers life, hope, justice, and peace. For this table, it turns things around. Things like racism, hate, intolerance, homophobia, transphobia, economic injustice. Too often, tables are used to pin people to a wall. A wall where there is no community. A wall outside holy love. This table, the one we are around, does not divide. This table brings community together. A community where mutuality is created and honored. A table which celebrates diversity and inclusion. So Jesus calls us to this table to turn things around, to make things new. Jesus knew about tables, tables of hierarchy, of power, of exclusion. But this is a different kind of table. It is one that brings us together. In the unity of spirit, in the unity of holy love. For when we gather around this table, we will upset things. Things that exclude. Things that incite hatred. For this table knows only inclusion and love. This table turns things around and upside down the way creation was intended. So when Jesus gathers his friends around this table, he knew what he was doing, creating a different model that shared power, created community, affirmed diversity. And he lifted from this table a loaf of bread, bread to be shared, not to be sold or hoarded. And he lifted from this table a cup of wine. Wine that is the intoxicating gift of holy love. And he said,
take and eat. Take and drink. For this table has been turned around. The tables of poverty and exclusion have been overturned. For this table is the new reality where all are welcome, equal, valued, and loved. So it is time to turn over some tables as we gather once again around this one and as we pray together. Holy One, as we come together across the miles to share in this simple yet sacred meal, may the varied elements of food and drink that we take in be infused with your spirit, the same spirit that has made us a united community all these years, and that still brings us together as many yet as one. Amen. The bread of life broken for us. Let us eat, remember, and give thanks. The cup of blessing poured out for us. Let us drink, remember, and give thanks. Let us pray. On this 95th anniversary day, we give thanks, O Holy One, for bringing us together as the United Church. You have raised us up with a vision of a united Canada. And we pray that we have been faithful to the vision of our founding communities of faith. We praise you for all of the joy and service we have known through this community and the communion that we share. And we pray this day for all those who together make us this gathering of your people. God of one, God of us all, your liberating voice has called all of us here and we are counted among your holy people. As we worship and pray in the light of your expanding love, we acknowledge that you bless us with all of the colors of love and of life, and we recommit ourselves to making our world a place where all those colors may be expressed boldly, without fear as they were always meant to be. Your gift of community is celebrated in our midst and we work toward a day when we will all freely dance together in the fire of your spirit that burns within each of us and all of us. Help us to hold one another closely 
in a spirit of compassion, one that reminds us that we have always been all of your children and that we always will be. Holy One, you have called us to share in the cares of our neighbors by lifting one another up in prayer. May we pray with one another for one another at this time. As we look to the future, O Holy One, we pray that we will remain true to the dream you have for us as a diverse yet unified people of faith. We bring our prayers together in the words that Jesus, our inspiration and our guide, taught us to pray, saying, Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings your commonwealth of peace and freedom. Sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. And now, touched by God's spirit which makes us free, held in God's love which makes us strong, befriended by God's Son, who builds bigger tables while breaking down walls. Let us live with hearts wide open to all the adventure, all the pain, all the joy of being God's people in every place life calls us to be. Let us leave this time of worship to rejoin the world that is waiting so that we may see what the next 95 years has in store for us all. Amen. I thank you for joining me this morning. I wish you a good day and blessings on that day. Stay well, stay healthy, stay safe, and take care.